La Jolla Shore is, is a great beach here in San Diego County, and it's been a great place to be in the summertime because the water off the shore here has been warmer than usual. And we know that because of research that's being done right there at the end of Scripps Pier. So right now we collect two samples. Once a day for more than 100 years, someone on this day, Sean Bruce, has come here, opened a door, and dropped a sample tube into the water below. The more samples, the better. Temperatures taken here last summer were the highest ever recorded. And oceanographer Melissa Carter says that isn't just a seasonal aberration. What we found is since 2004, we've actually had quite a bit of warming. A warming ocean is changing the underwater environment. Some species that used to thrive here are having a tougher time. We need to understand the changes all around it. And Scripps Institution of Oceanography researcher Helen Fricker says it's also one of three main causes of sea level rise. The temperature of the ocean, the average temperature of the ocean is increasing. And because of that, the entire ocean volume is expanding. And there's only one way for that to go because the basins are all fixed and so it just rises up. Water from melting glaciers in the world's highest mountain ranges is another source pushing up sea levels. And sea levels are going up because two great reservoirs of ice, Greenland and Antarctica, are melting. Fricker has studied the Antarctica ice for 25 years, and she's surprised at what's happening there now. The changes that we're seeing in the Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets have really kicked in in the last decade or two. We are now seeing signals that appear to be starting to accelerate. We're getting an increase in the amount of mass coming off the ice sheets. And the potential impact is massive. The frozen continent holds enough ice to push up worldwide sea levels by about 180 feet. Think of the kissing statue sculpture near the USS Midway. Seven of them stacked on top of each other are just under 180 feet. Add the ice on Greenland and sea levels could rise another 20 feet. You're not just melting ice, you're actually increasing the speed at which ice is delivered. Scripps researcher Fiema Strano studies Greenland, which is much warmer than the southern continent. Greenland is changing faster. Right now, Antarctica accounts for about 10 percent of global sea level rise. Greenland is about twice that, 20 percent. But in terms of potential long-term contribution, Antarctica holds about 10 times as much ice or water um, than Greenland. Strano says the pace of change is a surprise for researchers. Glacial change no longer means very long time scales, and that has scientists in a race to catch up. She says tracking and understanding those changes can be dangerous work. And so what we really need is measurements as close as we can get to where the ice meets the ocean. But that's probably one of the most challenging places where to get observations on the planet. Let me just take the cap off. Okay. In Antarctica, these glaciers are sitting thousands of feet below sea level with ice shelves that extend hundreds of miles. And in Greenland, things are a bit smaller, but as you'll see, the edge of these glaciers that flow into the ocean is, is a really dramatic place. Big icebergs breaking off. Strano and Fricker and scientists around the world are working to understand the changing conditions and the pace of change. They want to know how warmer air and warmer ocean temperatures are contributing to the situation. That's the big sort of holy grail question about both of these ice sheets. It's how much ice are we going to lose and how fast or how quickly are we going to lose that ice? Because when you start to think about half a meter, one meter of sea level rise over the next several decades, it, it really matters how many decades we're talking about and how many sort of tens of centimeters we're talking about. Because if you think about cities and planning and people living near the ocean, um, it's going to affect a lot of communities. And we need to know for planning purposes how quickly we need to start making these changes. Fricker says even a change of a few feet can have significant economic impacts. Coastal properties can be swamped, and low-lying airports in San Diego, Los Angeles, and San Francisco all face threats from rising ocean levels. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.